This is Aditya Joshi. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll give you a quick rundown of NEET 2023 from where questions were asked and how to analyze NEET 2023 so that if you are a dropper and appearing for NEET 2024, you can appear in a better way. You will be more prepared for NEET 2024. Okay. So I scored 160 in physics in NEET 2023 when I studied only for two months. I cracked NEET and I'll be going to a good government seat this year. But behind all that, what I did was I analyzed everything. So in this video, I'll analyze everything for you. So starting off with physics, because physics is one thing that people are really afraid of. And what I did, I did a really good analysis in physics and I did in-text questions in physics. Now in-text and solved examples, especially in physics and CRT is something that people tend to overlook. They don't try to read them because Look, NCRT, reading NCRT, even in itself is a very hard task. And when you pair it with reading physics NCRT, then it is next to impossible. So if I, if I talk about 2022, you'll notice that 23 to 26 questions were directly asked from NCRT. Now these direct questions were from in-text and examples. And in 2023, you'll notice that this has increased to in fact 26 to 27 questions. If I talk about exemplar, then four questions were asked last year. This year it has dropped to around two questions. Neat previous year questions last year were five. This year they were somewhere around 13. So that's, what does that tell you? That's a clear indication that NCRT and PYQs are the two pillars which you need to lean on while preparing for NEAT. Okay, you don't need to do anything else if you're doing really good analysis and interpretation of NEAT PYQ and NCRT. Now, you'll also notice that JE PYQs, that means JE mains questions were asked, one to two questions were asked last year and even this year they have increased. That means JE mains questions are also asked in NEAT and sometimes they just term them as hot questions. Okay. These are the hot questions or the questions which distinguish normal aspirants from toppers. So if you're if you can just analyze them before NEET 2024, it will be very good for your preparation. What you can do instead of solving them yourselves, you, you should just go to YouTube. You should type speed solving, JE mains 2023, January shift or something, and they'll just pop up. You just watch those videos. If I talk about chemistry, in 2022, you will notice that direct questions from NCRT were 41 to 43. And in 2023, they have increased to 45 to 47. That means the more advanced need gets the more people that appear in need the more nmc is leaning towards ncrt that means you don't need to let go of ncrt just focus on ncrt and you'll do well in 2024 even if i talk about pyq you'll know that pyq have increased and example questions has increased in chemistry as compared to physics now if i talk about bio then you know, I can't just tell you that don't study NCRT or just study from outside or bio is easy and you have to score 100% in bio. Look, we all know that bio has always come from NCRT. From 2021 to 2023, you'll notice that NCRT was the chief component in NEAT biology paper. So that's why I can't really analyze how many questions were asked outside from NCRT because I don't think there were any. But if I give you an overview of importance of NCRT, you'll notice that more than 90% or in fact 92% of paper was from NCRT, whether it is directly or indirectly based. If I talk about physics, what you need to do is you need to do in-text questions and solved examples. Okay, they are very important. They ask them without changing value. If I talk about chemistry NCRT, you'll notice that organic and inorganic are very important. If you feel as if I can't do everything in chemistry NCRT, then what you need to do is organic and inorganic don't let go of it okay i didn't have enough time with me to study all that in two months so what i did i only solved in text questions but you need to read them okay if i talk about bio ncrt examples diagrams and tables three most important components of bio ncrt examples diagrams and tables you'll notice that almost 35 percent of questions were asked from examples okay and five to ten percent of questions were asked from tables and diagrams so if you do that, if you just be prepared in advance, then I don't think that anyone can dethrone you from that dream you have of topping NEET 2024. Look, NEET isn't easy. I'll not say that NEET is very easy and that you should just study for two months. I studied for two months because I had no other option left. You have a lot of time with yourself. Don't let go of your dream, okay? 
I know if you're a dropper, specifically if you're a dropper, a lot of people will just constantly criticize you and tell you that you're not enough, that you should give up on your dream, you should be realistic. Don't listen to them. Don't ch change your dream, don't change your destination, change your process, change your behavior. Okay. We'll do very good in me 2024. God bless. I hope this video helped. Thank you.